In 2018, we spoke to John and Tanya Gunther after their homebred without parole when the group won St. James's Palace Stakes at Royal Ascot. After a stint in America, without parole has returned to his birthplace, New Sales Park Stud, to begin the next chapter of his career as a stallion. Julian Dollar speaks to us now about the son of Frankel. I think with without parole, he, he really did have a turn of foot. He was electric as a, as a three-year-old coming to James's Palace stakes. I mean, he had a, I think he had a time form rating of 117 on his second run, which was almost unheard of. Um, won the Heron Stakes and then went on to win the St. James's Palace, so unbeaten after four starts in um, uh, after, the, after the St. James's Palace. Very exciting horse, good turn of foot, proper miler. Proper miler, he comes from a great American speed family as well. So I think he's got much more of a, uh, an influence for speed than maybe some other sons of, uh, of Frankel, but you've got that brilliance there. You've got a wonderful te a temperament and a, and a great pedigree as well. He's one of those horses that stood out a mile as a foal and very much as a yearling. The mark of a good looking foal, good looking yearling and now a good looking stallion prospect. He's just very well balanced. You look at him and everything is in the right place. Um, he's still got a bit of letting down to do quite understandably. He's still got that racing shape to him at the moment, but he's, he's a real quality horse. He's got a beautiful head. Um, he's got a lovely top line. He's well balanced. He's got a good quarter, good shoulder. Um, very correct as you see him come towards you straight to die there and walking away so there's very little to fault him on um, just a very attractive elegant horse he's not a homebred I know but one that we we, we we fold and we reared here I think that that's been really important to the guys here you know a lot of a lot of the people on the stud remember him as a foal he was always a standout foal and a standout yearling to have him back after a successful racing career is, is very special John and Tanya are about as passionate owner breeders uh, as it's possible to be. Um, when Tanya comes to see her horses, which unfortunately in the last year has been difficult for her with COVID restrictions. But, you know, one thing I take away from her is just how much she loves her horses. And, um, and John, absolutely passionate about Frankel, always has been in this horse without Brol especially. So they have really got behind him with, their, with some of their very best European base mares. So he's going to get a great start. And um, there's some very shrewd uh, breeders who are coming in behind him with, with buying the breeding rights that are available, which is great. And um, he's filling up well, so we expect him to have a good first book.